Right. Hello, friends. Welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great as always. And for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's episode, we have got something very special lined up. We've got a best of three match against a good friend of mine, Fevzy, who I'm sure a lot of you already know. He streams a lot and he has a YouTube channel as well where he puts up content as well. And it's always amazing, high quality stuff. And he is honestly one of the top VGC players. Now, he reached out to me, thankfully, and I've got to give him a big shout out for this because it's something that I've wanted to for a while but uh, the opportunity has come up now and uh, we are going to be able to do a best of three so this is what we're doing we're doing series 10 tonight hopefully you enjoy it as always if you do and um, please leave a comment down below let me know your thoughts on the battle afterwards and uh, i'll quickly go through the team that we're playing now this is a little bit draft leaguey like we are playing in the x9 league together but unfortunately we aren't playing in the the, the run-up to the playoffs so maybe we see each other again in the playoffs and this is just a warm-up hopefully that would be great wouldn't it but uh, um, today, uh, deciding to play a Shadow Calyrex team, uh, something a little bit different, something I do love, um, and especially got a lot of fondness from Series 8, had a lot of fun with uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex, so we're playing this today, um, we've got the Expanding Force Astral Barrage, I've got no PP ups if you're asking why I've only got 5 PP, that might come to bite us, but uh, I can't do anything about it at the minute, um, and then Shadow Ball to get around things like Wide Guard that we're seeing that are quite prevalent in the format at the minute, just the Life Orb, just to give that extra damage that uh, you kind of want from this huge Pokemon and then I'm going with Whimsicott as well because it gives us that great uh, option of speed control with Tailwind we get help in hand there Moonblast just helps us against things like Urshifu that could otherwise be a little bit problematic um, and then Protect it's re really important you know on Wimmy and we're not going to always have our terrain up on the field and Faker is super prevalent in this format so uh, Protect quite handy just to ensure that you can maybe get a second Tailwind off and um, then our next Pokemon is Dracovish um, I didn't mention the item on Wimmy we've got a focus sash it makes sense on this pokemon it helps with the longevity a little bit because it's so frail um, and then we're going with dracovish really interesting pokemon in this format i've not explored a great deal but i do like it a lot obviously with that vicious rent and the mystic water especially when you've got tailwind support it can be very dangerous um, we have obviously vicious rent psychic fans helps with screen support and things like that and then super fang really helps just chunk things down if uh, if we can't really make use of vicious rent in certain situations and then we'll move on to Tapu Lele, going with the old good old choice scarf, Tapu Lele. It gives us an option of terrain and it gives us an option of a really fast defense as well as supporting the Shadow Calyrex, as well as a way to hit like things like Urshifu that can be, again, very problematic for us. There's the moveset. It's pretty self-explanatory psychic because we can't get expanding force. I wish it did. And in another way, I wish you don't as well, because it would be just so bust, wouldn't it? And then we got Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam for the spread, and then Shadow Ball helps us get the jump on Shadow Calyrex with the Scarf, and um, can then it gives us the opportunity to knock it out with the Shadow Ball, which is always very nice. So uh, then we've got Entai our fire type of the team with the salt vest love entai i think it's really one of the best fire type users in the format the only thing that draws it back a little bit over things like incineroar is it doesn't get access to intimidate which is the only drawback really but it's still very good got a lot of good options snarl extreme speed stomp and tantrum strike at fire it is a pretty standard set got max speed on this one just to ensure that we're taking advantage of that base 100 speed jolly nature uh, and the assault vest we've got a little bit of bulk in there not got max attack just to get a little bit extra out of that assault vest and then we've got p2 now the reason for p2 is because in opposing shadow color x matchups uh, especially if they've got reggie alecki or if they've got whimsicott it comes down to speed ties a lot of the time and you don't really want to risk that p2 opens the door a little bit in that matchup in particular where we can get the trick room off we can threaten the opposing shadow rider calyrex and it's just generally good if we're facing opposing tailwind and it's not a preferable option for us to go forward with or if there's just a lot of speed control on my opponent's team uh porygon 2 a really nice option here obviously got that download ability and evo light the download just gives you that a little bit of uh, extra attacking power if you're in the right kind of um situation so there is a team this is what we're going to be going up against uh well we're going to be taking against fevzy today in our best of three match i really do hope you enjoy the match and uh, we'll get into it in a moment and uh we'll be back when we get into game one right we are hooked up with fevzy obviously go and check the vod out on his twitch channel um and i'll leave all his socials down below in the description for you to check out his youtube his twitch and his twitter i'm interested 
interested to see what he brings. I, I always kind of think like Fevzi probably brings something like Weezing, which does scare me a little bit because obviously it just kind of kicks out all of our all of our different um, options, you know, going forward. Right, well, we've got Whimsicott, Calyrex, Urshifu, Rillaboom, Incineroar, and Nihiligo. So, uh, this is tricky. This is really tricky because obviously the mirror, we talked about it a little bit in team preview. Um, and like P2 gives us a lot more options there against that. So that definitely does help us. There's no redirection on my opponent's team. So, um, you know, one of the options that we could go down is is probably going like Trick Room P2, Tapu Lele is a lead. It might work. Um, you've got to worry at that point though, if if they lead Whimsicott, Calyrex, which I presume you would. I think I'll go P2, Lele, we need the Calyrex for sure. So we're going to go Calyrex in the back. I think bring Entai and just, we'll just feel things out this this first game, with this first game. So it's always good in a best of one. I feel, you know, you don't want to overcompensate too much. You want to try and use a few things to your advantage to try and get a lead, but you, you don't need to worry so much. Like if you lose the first one, it's all about getting as much information as possible, right? That's the big thing for us. So we got Wimmy and we got Calyrex. Now, Calyrex has got to feel super threatened here. Now, one of the options, what we could do is just go straight for the Trick Room, or we could go for the Shadow Ball. Um, the Tapu Lele. Obviously, if they do... I think we keep Lele, to be honest, for like a late game, especially with the terrain up. Are we going to see an Expanding Force? I don't know. We may see Rillaboom come in. I think what we'll do is Trick Room. We'll switch Lele out and we'll go into Entai because Entai with your Assault Fest is going to be able to take things a lot better. We've got access to um, Snarl. We've got access to Sacred Fire if we need to. And it kind of checks the Rillaboom that could potentially come in on that Whimsicott slot, potentially, uh, the next turn. So we can get the, the Psychic Terrain up after that. But it kind of depends what, what he decides to go for. Let's see. But we want to protect the Lele. Because we've got to stall out these, these Tailwind turns. Whatever. We can't leave it in here like super vulnerable, right? When we're going out, really boom. The boom boom. The big bad boom coming in. So that's that's kind of fine. I wonder if we'll just see Astro Barrage or... Um, we may see Taunt from Calyrex, you know? My Trick Room itself. Calyrex Taunting. Uh, protecting, sorry. Taunting. Protecting. Oh, that's what we like to see. Now... Here's the thing. Um, do we switch Lele back in and just go Shadow Ball into the Calyrex? Because that is definitely an option to get rid of the, the, the grassy terrain as well. Um, the thing you got to think about here is we're going to get faked out by the Rillaboom. But he knows that we're going to probably switch the Lele back in. Um, and it makes me think, is the Calyrex going to switch out here knowing that it's super threatened? And then the Rillaboom just go for... Uh, a big attack into to P2, um, whereas we could kind of call his bluff a little bit and just keep Entai on the field and go Sacred Fire. Or we could go, to be honest, we could Snarl as well. That kind of covers everything. Uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring Lele back in, get rid of the Grassy Train while we've got the opportunity to and just Shadow Ball, because if we can get the Shadow Ball into Calyrex, we should knock it out. And it has just protected, so we'll see. What's switching? Yeah, it's switched. Okay. Yeah, he's not going to give it up that easy. But we do get some nice damage onto the Urshifu, I guess. Which is good. There's the fake out. Just covering that. And there's the Shadow Ball. So, is it the water? Ooh, critical hit. Not ideal. Uh, now we are Scarfed. Which is not ideal for us right in this situation. Um, but we can try attack. Let's just check out. Is it the water? It is the water. So that's actually not terrible for us. But again, we don't really have the switches here. You know what I mean? Uh, where we could maybe keep Lele in and just go Dazzling Gleam. Uh, we may lose it as well, which isn't which isn't ideal. One little bit. Um, but is the Tri Attack going to be able to get the the Urshifu? I don't know. 
And uh, we've got to keep Lele on the field because we can't switch into Entai and take like a Surgeon Strikes. Especially if we miss the knockout here, which would be pretty terrible. Which, yeah, it's a bulky Urshifu, so I'm going to see the knockoff. Yeah, he'd be alright. And then close combat, I think, is what we'll see. Yeah, and that will be enough. But with the drops, the Dazzling game should be enough. And we get rid of the one thing that, like, you know, gives Entai a lot of trouble. So the Dazzle is going to come out. We are locked into that, of course. But that's all right. Now Entai coming in does have a really good time. Uh, Wimmy and Calyrex don't really want to face down against Entai because especially in Trick Room where we've got the access to to Snarl if we want. And I think really the Rillaboom has to switch out to Whimsicott. So you can get your grassy terrain back for later in the game because it's more useful if you've got grassy terrain active to kind of clean up the, the, the Calyrex that we've got. I would imagine. So there is maybe the opportunity where we could switch Lele out here and just snarl. It's very risky though. Have they still got their tailwind up. No, they haven't tailwind, have they? They didn't tailwind. They didn't. Did they tailwind? Did they? I don't know. Can't remember. Let's see. No, there's just trick room. They're gonna protect. I think they're gonna protect. <sighs> the problem is right. Um, the problem is. Do we call the Calyrex protecting here? Because they're just gonna knock off Lele, and we can't afford. I think we got Sacred Fire into Boom. And we just dazzle. Just dazzle. Boom's going to get the knockoff. But it means that next turn, Lele is actually slower than the Calyrex, which is... It doesn't protect. Oh, they knock off the Entai. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. That's not ideal. We get rid of the Rillaboom, but that is not ideal. I mean, we still got a Scarf, but in this situation where we're going to take an Astral Barrage and just get absolutely knocked out... Yeah, not ideal. And now we just lose to, to Wimmy. Yeah. Yeah. Nice call from him, because we could have snarled in that situation, but we chose not to. We thought the Calyrex might protect. Um, the only thing that we've got going for us now is... Um, well, no, they just protect. I think they, ju they just protect now, and then they Tailwind. The next turn. So they double protect, then tailwind, and then we just lose. And we got no way to um to get around this. So I think he takes game one. It's a pretty quick one. Mm. We just have to astral barrage, that's all we can do. And if he attacks here, then maybe, maybe we win a speed tie, but that's the best it's gonna get in this situation. Not ideal. But I mean he played it super well. We could have snarled there, I think it would have been the better option. Rillaboom would have stuck around on the field, of course. Um, but Entai probably would have still been around for this next turn. And then the Calyrex would have been way less powerful. And probably not picked up a knockout. Um, did we see the Wimmy just go for a Moonblast? Yeah. I mean, if the Wimmy isn't, isn't sashed. It's got to be sashed, though. It has to be sashed. If it's not sashed, we can, we can remove it from the field. And then we can still have that speed tie going into the last turn. But I don't see I don't see it not being sashed, not on this team. Wow, and it's absolutely fat. It's a fat Wimmy as well. So yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. We'll lock in. We'll give him we'll give him we'll give him uh, the uh, the pleasure of being able to knock it out. Because it's always bad when you when you see like um when you forfeit. There we go, and there's a tailwind. Yeah, it's just locked in. Very precise. Okay, well, we learned a few things going into that first one. It was very quick, very fast-paced, but I think it's the nature of this, this match. I think the P2 is a big player for us, but I think we need to protect it a little bit better against something like um, the Rillaboom. Because the Rillaboom, the knockoff, causes all sorts of issues. And you can see what an advantage that we have under Trick Room. So it's really about trying to get that Trick Room up. Maybe not early game, but late game, you know? So Wimmy Lele, let's try this. Calyrex. And then... Do we go P2? Like P2... It's 
going to struggle against a lot of his team, whereas Entai has options to kind of hit most stuff except the Urshifu, you know? I think we got Entai. Let's lock in. But I think we have to keep pace. Like, we can't go down the, the trick room route, I don't think. Not this again. Unless we do, and then it really restricts our options where we maybe don't then bring Lele. And I kind of feel like Lele's are like a big tipping point in this game, you know? Where we got the scarf on it, we can guarantee if we get the tailwind up, we're going to be able to outspeed the Calyrex and just really pressure it. But we do see the Urshifu and we do see the Incineroar, which is fine. Um, they can't Tailwind, but the Incineroar can do a heck of a lot of damage this turn, you know? But I mean, we can just go after the, the Urshifu if we want. Like a Moonblast. Moonblast, Moonblast into that slot. We don't really need to worry about... Like, it's just the thing, like, the, the Urshifu probably protects, right? And we want to try and preserve our Psychic Terrain for later on in this match. And we could potentially see the Urshifu just switch to Rillaboom. Which again might not be a bad thing, but then we do see the, the fake up from the Incineroar come in. I mean, one thing we could potentially do is just switch into Entai, keep our Tailwind for later. It's probably not a bad idea. And then just go for a Psychic into the, the Urshifu, I think. Because with the terrain boost, we should do a bit more to it. And I don't think it'd be able to survive, where it might be able to survive a Moonblast. But we do see it switch out. Redaboom going to come in, and the Psychic will be nice damage. Uh, although, I think Moonblast would have been a bit more powerful. Hopefully we see a fake out from the Incineroar. No fake out. It's just going to be, um, I think, a parting shot. Yeah, into... Lele, yeah, makes sense. And Urshifu, I think, will come back in. Yeah, and this makes it a little bit more tricky for us, of course, because now we're fake out bait. And he knows we're going to switch the Lele out. So you can easily just... Well, you have to still... I think you still have to fake out Lele here. So it does open the door for us. It's just where the Urshifu attacks into. Like we can pull a double switch. Pull Wimmy in for Entai and Calyrex onto the Lele slot. That could definitely be an option. It's just so risky. Like with that, that Rillaboom have a knockoff. Oh, it's Calyrex. Hmm. Okay. Again though, it's... <sighs> This makes it even trickier because now we've got the Shadow Ball that we can go into the Calyrex with. But we know there's no Whimsicott. So I think one thing that we can... Yeah, we've got to get the Lele off the field. We've got to get the Lele off the field. I think we get Lele off the field and bring Whimsicott onto the, onto the field. Because at least then, you know, we've got the Sash there. And I think you go in this situation, you probably fake out Entai and go Astral Barrage. Like the worst case scenario for us would be, I think, you turn on, on Rilla. But then we would get the Snarl off, so it's not the worst. But then you kind of just cycle in that Intimidate, which then forces us to bring the Lele in the next turn. Yeah, no U-turn, Incineroar. Yeah. But I mean, we get a Snarl off onto the Calyrex here, which is which can be quite nice, unless it protects here. That, and that, that's not ideal. Now it goes Astral Barrage, so take the Wimmy down to its Sash. And do a good fat chunk to uh, to Entai as well. But this Snarl is going to do some nice damage in return, so that's that's good. The Calyrex is going to switch out this next turn, I think. We could potentially just protect Wimmy and go for Sacred Fire into the Calyrex slot and maybe expect like the Rillaboom to come in there. But again, does it? Or is it going to be the Urshifu? 
I mean, even if it is the Urshifu, if we get the burn on it, that's pretty handy. The only issue would be, I mean, if they, they fake out Entai, then fair enough, right? If they fake out Entai, fair enough. Uh, I still think we will take an Astral Barrage. But I think you're more likely to probably fake out Wimmy or go for a parting shot into the Entai. So we should get an attack off before he do anything. And I don't think, I think you want to get the Calyrex off the field now because of that Snarl. Okay, no switches. Yeah, there's uh, the uh, parting shot coming out. Sacred Fire should be enough here. And yeah, we do take it with Entai, just about. But we should be able to get rid of the Calyrex. Oh. 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 <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's not ideal. That is not ideal. That is not ideal. That is really not ideal. Okay. 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 It's fine. It's fine. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Lele. I don't really want to bring in Lele just yet. I think the thing is with bringing in Lele is the fact that um, if we bring Lele in, now we can't really change the terrain. They've got a really easy way to change it. Although they can do it this turn where they just go for an attack into Whimsicott. Um, but they can't leave the Calyrex on the field. That's the big thing. I think they parting shot a Snarl with with Incineroar. Um, yeah, I don't think they leave the Calyrex in. Because potentially what we could do is just go protect. No, we need the damage. We need damage on... We need damage. That's what we need. And we need to Tailwind. Yeah, we need the damage on the field. We need the damage on the Incineroar. Because we're going to struggle to take down that Incineroar now. Without Entai. And I know we're pretty low health anyway. Okay, the Calyrex protecting this turn. Yeah. Get the Tailwind. I still mean we've got help in hand, of course. But it depends what the Incineroar's got. Has it got a dark type attack? Let's see. Yeah, Incineroar taking that pretty well. As we kind of expected it to. And Flare Blitz. I mean, the recoil's kind of... Okay. That that works out all right for us. Because now... We can lock... I, well, we have to lock into Moonblast. I don't think we can lock into Shadow Ball. So we got to lock in Moonblast. Astro Barrage. Is it Moonblast going to be... Uh, maybe, maybe, you know. Maybe Moonblast, Astro Barrage will be enough to get the Incineral. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it will be. Can we do it from this point? If we can get... You know, we haven't had uh, a Snarl onto us yet. So we're kind of still sitting in not a bad spot. Got a Moonblast though, the NC, and just hold it. Well, we can get enough damage onto it, really. That's the big thing. Um, it is pretty chunky, though. Let's see. I just need to do, like, what? 50? 50% 50 damage? I don't know if we can even do that, to be honest. Calyrex going out. Rillaboom coming in. Yeah. And hopefully, Astral Barrage will be enough to do a big, significant chunk of damage to this. Like, if we remove the Incineral now, we're in a great spot. Like, honestly, we're in a fantastic spot. Because Calyrex can then just take down... Oh, we might get it, you know. If that doesn't activate... Yeah, I think we got it. May be able to do this. Oh, okay. Now we're going to get faked out this next turn. But Calyrex is going to be able to pick up the... The Rillaboom. It's going to be hard, though, to get the Urshifu. Um, do we get, do we get, we'll plus one, so maybe plus one, Astral Barrage will get the Urshifu now. Maybe. Because you got to fake out that Lele, right? Got to fake out the Lele. We've got to take this to a game three. We have to take this to a game three. 
We've got no more options left. This is it. It's the Oshifu. Okay. If. If a plus one. Astro Barrage. Can get the Urshifu. Then we are in business. If not. Game over. Then it comes down to speed ties. So there's a chance. There's a chance. But. You never wanted to go to a speed tie. Really do you? You never really want it to. I think it might come down to speed tight anyway, because I don't know if a moon blast will be enough to get the, the color. It should be, right? But you fake out Lele here. You have to. I mean you could grassy glide, of course. Grassy glide aqua jet might be might be a play as well that we see. Now the fake out some more. Okay. Come on, be enough to get the Urshifu. Please. Urshifu is so weak. We get it! Come on! Okay, we're, we've got we've give ourselves a chance. We give ourselves a chance, okay? So we are plus three now, but it means nothing because our tailwind is gone. It's all down to Lele. Really, it's all down to Lele. Um And whether or not Lele can can pick up the knockout with with the Moonblast. <sighs> Would be nice if we could lock into like the uh, the old shadow ball, but obviously we couldn't oh I don't know. I really don't know. Like, this is the thing. It might not even matter now. It may not even matter. We're still in Tailwind. They're going to protect. We've got no way to to do anything else. But Astro Barrage. And Moonblast. Yeah. He's got to protect here. Yeah. And he gets a little bit of health back as well. There's no point of us protecting either here because it's just going to come down to a speed tie either way. So we just end it a turn earlier if we if we just attack now and just coin flip, coin flip it. Um, because I just don't see a moon blast being enough to, to to do the job. The only the only thing could be is maybe a special attack drop and we are able to take the Astro Barrage, but I still don't think with the special attack drop that we would be able to take it, in all honesty. So we just gotta lock in and hope that we can go to a game three for all of you fine people at home. That's what we want. Let's see. Can we get a little bit of justice for this sacred fire miss earlier? Come on, special attack. Oh, we get it, we get it, we get it, we get it, we get it. Did we win the speed tie? We win the speed tie! There we go. Oh, we might not even win the speed tie. It might be a slow Calyrex. We don't know that yet. I'm pretty sure it was a speed tie. I'm going to say it's a speed tie because... Uh... Okay, well, we get a game three and that's what it's all about. Okay, so that is brilliant. We tie it up 1-1. One, one. It's very tight every step of the way. Um, and you can see how much, like... I think the big thing from game one was obviously the Whimsicott for, for Fevzi. Obviously just wipe the floor with us it made it very difficult we bring the whimsicott he doesn't and it makes it very difficult for him so you can see where how the whimsicott plays a such an, a significant role in this match and it's not just the whimsicott it's the fact that the terrain wars are so important um so we'll lock in we'll go for a game three which i'm very happy about to be honest you know Happy that we can take it to a game three. I didn't want to come in. After that game one, I was like, oh my God, it's going to be like an absolute body bag moment. I'm going to be like, too odd. It's going to be a bad one. And Fevzi's going to be like, I'm never asking that guy back again. I'm never asking him again. So here we go. Good luck to Fevzi. Um, you know, it's going to be tough as it has been. But, you know, no hard feelings if I lose because he's, he's an incredible player. And this is a very tough matchup. So... What are we going to see? I think we see pretty a pretty similar team, except I think the Incineroar doesn't come this time, and I think the Whimsicott comes again, which makes me feel like Lele is a great option. Um, again, you know, uh, if we can, and I think we need the Whimsicott for sure. We need Wimmy, but I don't know if we lead Lele here, you know. We could potentially... I feel really like I want to bring P2. 
but I just think we need to protect it a lot more than we have been doing. Like, Whimsicott P2 gives him a lot of issues. And I think... Calyrex Lele? I think Calyrex Lele, I don't think we bother about the Entai. I think the Entai has given us too many issues. And I think P2 could... Yeah, I think we'll go with this. I really believe in P2 in this matchup, you know? It complicates things for him. It makes him have to think about Trick Room and readjusting. And the Calyrex isn't in the safest of spots, right? So. Let's see if we can wrap it up with a P2. Is it a mistake not to bring the Entai? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. But maybe it is. Okay. Well, he's led perfectly. He's read my mind. He's used the old Sharingan to uh, uh, Itachi, Itachi style to read us like a book. But we're, we can pull ourselves out of this. Special attack boost for P2. Knock off incoming. And we've got no switches in. So we have to literally sack, sack P2 here. Do they fake? I mean, even if they fake out Wimmy, like what? What are they gonna do? They're gonna stop the Trick Room for for the Tailwind for one turn, right? I think we double into the Urshifu. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, just double into it. If we can get rid of the Urshifu, one less thing to think about on this. Horrible team, which is really, yeah. I love the bulky Urshifu, though. It's great. It is a very good Pokemon. Grassy Glide. Okay. Is the Close Combat going to be enough now? Okay, well, we get the Moonblast. And the Tri Attack will pick it up if he misses. Yeah. Okay, well, P2 hangs on. That's good. That's a good trade for us. See the thing is we don't need to we don't need to pull the switches because we I our hands are pretty tied with what we can switch in, right? Like I think this turn I think we protect We protect Wimmy. Because we can always go for Tailwind next turn. And we Shadow Ball into Calyrex. And we protect. I'm hoping we see a Grassy Glide. Not an Expanding Force. Into P2 to get the boost. Although it doesn't matter really, you know. It's going to happen at some point. The Calyrex. As long as we've got like Lele to come in and check it. It doesn't... <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Unless he doesn't attack the P2 here. No, of course he does. Okay, that's terrible for us. That's really bad. That's really not great. That's... sub -calorex. that's genius. I love it. Right, um... Gotta go Lele. Gotta go Lele. And what's he got in the back? Because potentially... If you... We could double Rillaboom here. But we would lose Lele. And that's the biggest problem, right? That is the biggest problem for us. I think we need to... We need to Tailwind. Yeah. The problem is if they just double the Wimmy with Grassy Glide Astro Barrage, we're done. But we need the Tailwind up. But at least we'd then get rid of the... the sub, I guess. Yeah, there's Astro Barrage. 
Take a stand to our sub, uh, Sash and Wimmy, and Rillaboom. We'll clean up. I don't think it's got U turn now. Hmm. It has got U turn, and this is where Wimmy comes in. Yeah. Wimmy, Wimmy, Wimmy. He's got the Wimmy. Or he's got Incineroar. I mean, either way, it locks it. With Incineroar, locks it. The Wimmy's account makes it a bit more interesting because then it comes down to speed ties. Then all we can do is Astral Barrage a couple of times. And then hope we get the boosts. And then hope we've got enough health to take a Grassy Glide from a Boom. And we've got the boosts behind us. And then we can knock it out in one hit. That's what we've got to hope for. Speed ties. Gotta love it. Gotta hate it. Uh, I should have brought the Zastian team that I used in the stream on Friday. But I was like, no, I'll mix it up. I'll mix it up. I'll bring something different today. I'll bring uh, the Shadow Rider team. It makes a lot more sense to bring that. Let's see what this Whimsicott's going to throw out. A Tailwind, of course. Yeah, now we're on a timer because we ain't got as many turns in Tailwind as they've got. Now we can take down the Whimsicott. Yeah, it comes down to a speed tie again. Like, it comes down to a speed tie. That's all it comes down to because whoever gets um, the, the Astral Barrage first is the one that is going to win this match. Because if we get it, we get plus two. We, we can get um, probably enough to take down Rillaboom, we've probably got enough to take uh, a Grassy Glide, right? So it literally comes down to a speed tie, which makes these these matchups pretty... Pretty dumb. Pretty dumb. But the Incineroar, I think, instead of the Wimmy, would have probably edged it from a lot easier. I think it wouldn't have been easier, uh, in a sense, but I think it would have it would have given them a way to take a lot more Astro Barrage and, and put some big damage onto us to allow then the Rillaboom to come in later and Grassy Glide and knock us out. Um, but it comes down. Ooh, he's playing it very, very, very smart. Very smart. Unless we knock out the Rillaboom here. But he just protects on that. Yeah, this is the thing. Yeah, this is that he's won it now. He's locked it up, I think. Ah. Uh, yeah, he's locked it. Unless we get like a crit on the boom. Um, there's no way we do this. Because he just protects on our last turn of Tailwind. We can't then protect. And uh, we're in we're in a boat. Bunch. Bunch of trouble. Bunch of trouble. Yeah. We'll play it out though. But that has locked it. Locked it. Uh, the taunt there. Very, very well played. And really nice selection of moves, you know. You cannot. You cannot deny that. <sighs> yeah. It's just these sort of matchups, like the mirror is just so back and forward, like, you know, if you lose, like, resources like we did, took down the P2 early, you got a good return for it. This makes it, it makes it very difficult in the late game, we've got one turn, Tailwind. Yeah, I mean, we get the, we get, we get Rillaboom, but I mean, we can't, we can't taunt after that. And again, it comes down to, unless he wants to risk the speed tie right now, I doubt he does now, he's locking it up. Yeah. Grassy Glide. Maybe take that. So we would have got it. I mean, we'll, we'll get the Rillaboom here. But it doesn't really matter. One one little bit. He's timed his Tailwind perfectly. So we can't really... Can't complain about it. we get the boost. But it's done. Unless our taunt really wears off right now. Which would be so handy. But I don't think it is. I don't think. I think we've got one more turn. Got one more turn of taunt. Unless it wears off now. Come on. Come on. Come on. My heart skipped a little beat there when that tailwind message came up. I was like, ah, it's ended. It's ended. It hasn't though. No. Can we protect? We can't protect. It's not allowing us to. And very good game to my friend. Uh, honestly, he's such a great guy. I have a lot of fun when I see him in real life events. You know, we've been to many uh, events around the world, you know, uh, Brazil, 
uh, international championships. We've been in multiple regionals before, and uh, it's always a pleasure hanging out with him. He's one of my favorite people to hang out with at events. So being able to eventually get a match with him on the channel is a privilege. And uh, like I say, all his socials are down in the description below. So uh, definitely check out his, his channel and all these other bits because he's just an amazing, amazing player. And you need to go and check him out. You'll learn a lot from him. Honestly, he's, uh, he brings a lot of value to this game and the community in general. So friends, I just need to give a big shout out to Fevzy once more, even though I have done already, but he deserves it. He's a good friend of mine. And thank you so much to each and every one of you for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed today's best of three. We will try and do a few more of these on the channel over the next few weeks. And uh, hopefully you do enjoy these. If you do, let me know down in the comments section and we'll try and arrange a few more but uh have a great rest of your day let me know your thoughts on the battle and i'll catch you all for another episode very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye